The breath is medicine for the mind. The texts like to talk about the Buddha as being like a doctor. But he's not like one of these modern doctors where you go to the office and he gives you a shot and that's it. He's like the old-fashioned doctor who would give you the list of ingredients. You had to find the ingredients, boil them yourself, and take them. And it took quite a while, usually, for the medicine to work. But it was the kind of medicine that really would make a change in your system and approach the disease from all sides. So the medicine itself was not poisonous like some very modern, quick medicines. But it does require that you have some patience and use your own ingenuity in finding the ingredients. You know, where is your mindfulness right now? Where is your alertness? Where is your breath? Put those things together and let them simmer together for a while. so you can get the benefits out of them that you want, and the long-term benefits that seep through the body, seep through the mind. We can make another comparison. The, the breath is like an ointment that you put on your skin when there's a rash. You put the ointment on and you leave it there. You don't put it on and just rub it off. In other words, when you're with the breath, you have to stay with the breath for long periods of time for it to have its best effect on the mind and its best effect on the body. So have some patience and have some endurance as you do that. Stick with it. Because even though the results are sometimes slow, they attack the problems of the mind from all around, from all sides, both from the physical side and from the mental side. And that way they can affect a complete cure. <laughs>